Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, today's Mike O'Mara show is brought to you by our Amazon page. Please remember to shop Amazon, and when you do, go to MikeO'MaraShow.com slash Amazon, or click the Amazon link on our website. It's the best way to shop, and the best way to support this program. Now, on with the show. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeO'MaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Oh, the middle of the week doesn't have to be a bummer. The middle of the week can be the best part of your summer. The middle of the week is Wide Open Wednesday. Rob, Oscar, Mike, we're all very, very gay. <laughs> Yay! Yay! And here, and here to stay. Wide Open Wednesday. Wednesday. Wide <laughs> Open Wednesday, where we take your calls. Let me give you the number. la ba da ba dee ba da ba da ba do 888-92 more. <laughs> 888-92-6673 for Wide Open Wednesday, where the same people call every week. Let's go to the lines. Hi, Dirk. Good morning. Oh, good Hi. morning. Happy birthday tomorrow, Michael. Oh, God bless you, Dirk. Thank you very much. <laughs> number 58, right? It's number. Of course it's right. You know that. Oh. You know more about me and my wife than I do, which nice. is wonderful. I think that's terrific, and I am... Uh, you know, I'll be honest with you. I'll be in transit. I'll be traveling uh, after we do the show tomorrow. I'll be heading to the Great White North. Birthday to be trip. Honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> sure. It's your birthday uh, so, trip, Mike, and that's a tradition yeah. in the O'Mara household that every time there's a birthday, you travel. Woo! 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 Yeah. <laughs> another year. Another year yeah. better. Another year lovelier. Oh, thank you. I, I appreciate that. But, uh, Dirk, thank you for uh, pointing that out, and uh, <laughs> always good to uh, hear from you. And when I do finally collapse... Uh, even though you are a man that is not what I would call a spring chicken, you are waiting in the wings because uh, you seem to be more vital than I am at this uh, at this stage in our lives. So uh, Carla's waiting, although I will have a little bit of detail about Carla and Mike going to my son's hockey practice today because the, the rookie leagues and the oh. collegiate oh. players are down from – everywhere doing their like pre-training thing and this uh this rink that we were at was rather chock-a-block with young bucks mm. wandering around the hallways but that's mm. near there neither here nor there hey, dirk, dirk, how, dirk how old of a guy are you uh i will be 66 this year so you're See? in mike you're in mike's wheelhouse you're similar oh thanks rob yeah thanks for just laying 10 years on me oh, uh, it be you know. eight years that's not much <laughs> eight years yeah okay you, you know, get discounts like I'm in, everywhere i'm in your wheel am i in your wheelhouse i would say so i would say we're being closer to contemporaries now than we used to be no i yeah. don't think that's the case well you're oscar fly, no fit. one asked you all right thank you well, uh Dirk, what can we do li- for you Oh, I was just going to say, I'm, I'm more likely to stay alive if I remember Linda's birthday and you don't. <laughs> it's coming up on Friday. Yeah, oh, that's right, my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law's birthday is Friday. Yeah, so don't Day after mine. I might be seeing Carla sooner rather than later. <laughs> yeah, now, this is yeah. the first time that Dirk has brought Linda up. Is this your new plot, your new foray into the family, Dirk? Circumvent. Yes. Well, uh, there was the live show last year, and uh, I did spend a lot of time with her afterwards. Mm, there you are. Mm, yeah. There you are. time. Well, let me just say, after giving, it a, after giving <laughs> it a great deal of thought, Dirk, uh, knock your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, look at that. Oh, and happy birthday, Linda. Yes. Yes. It's very kind of you. Um, happy birthday, so- Doug, and guys, have a great day. Thank you, Dirk. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much. It is Wide Open Wednesday, the uh, day that we take your calls. And uh, to be honest, uh, it's constant maintenance. It's actually constant goosing. It's not that now we have a queue of 500 people waiting to talk to us on right. Wednesday. It's just a question of motivating people to call. Uh, let's go to Cameron uh, from Turtle Rock, California. Turtle Rock, what a beautiful name for a town. Where is that? Actually, it's Turlock, California, not Turtle Rock. Turlock, of course. Uh, who's running the yeah, phones today? Yeah, who's running? Who, hold on just a second. Who's running? No, no, no. Just just please, because I, I really, it's uh, a teaching moment. It's a teaching. We've is got Adam a- on the phone? Adam is on the phone. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The, let's, let's put the, that's right. What you want to do when you're running a baseball team is you want to take the fucking A-ball player and you want the, the, the A-ball player that's batting 38 and you want to put him in the cleanup position because that's the way a great organization runs. Is he you the, put, is he put, the put, worst put, on the phones? I don't remember. Yeah, he so, no, he, he makes a mistake. Take every week. No, he had a perfect week last week. Yeah. Okay, no, he didn't. I, I don't know this. I just want to make sure that we are, have the right rotation in the no. 
in the just, actual. You know, it's a question of in the communications batting business, schedule, listening. The lineup, listen not schedule. But if you're going, if you if you hear a person says, "Where are you from?" Turlock, and someone goes, <laughs> "Turtle Rock." It, then the host reads it because it's on his screen, yeah. and it pisses him off. To yeah. be perfectly honest, full meltdown. But, but now, uh, yeah, full meltdown because yeah. I felt like it. Adam, uh, the fact is, you're fired. Thank you. No, we have. I took care uh, of it, Mike. <laughs> Ashley, who's been here a long time, experienced. Ashley's not here today. She's dead to us. Emmy, she who's uh, done amazing work for us. <laughs> yes. we got even Diego, who a uh, you know, full-time job, dedicated worker. Even. Well, Don't know. No. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> you listen know where Mac learn, is learn today? To Mac is actually a turtle rock. <laughs> uh, Cameron, is your name Cameron or is it like yeah. Carl? <laughs> it's Cameron. No, not Carl. Hi. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to call and say thanks for the show yesterday. That was. Probably one oh, of the I heard it rock. We had a great I time. We had, a, we had a good time. We had a very, very good time. They don't time. do that on the radio anymore. And it's, uh, yeah, it's no, they don't. They don't really talk boring. up radio r- records anymore. And the fact is yeah. that, it's, uh, you know, Rob has, um, I don't even, I stopped counting the n- number of songs that he brings to the table, and we brought those in and talked them up, Oscar, and we had a really, really oh, good I, time Oh, I yesterday. heard. It was fun. And, I tuned uh, in on yeah. the live stream. With you, uh, yeah, I made my night trip. last night go by really fast. So well, thank great. you very much. You know, it went by yeah. fast for us too. We appreciate that, Cameron. Thank you very much, Cameron from Turtle Rock, California. Let's go. <laughs> to... Okay, we got another one maybe here uh, from Orlando. Is your name Grimy? It sure is, gentlemen. How are we doing today? Hi, Grimy. And nice to hear from you. You know Grimy, right? Oscar? Oh yes, Mike. You know, how do we so, know Grimy? Uh, it's, well, Grimy was at the Big Duff 2, if I'm not mistaken. He might have been at 1 <laughs> yeah. as well. That's years incredible. Ago. Years that's, back. that's such an incredible memory. That's, yeah. That's a, I, was that, I was that hammered asshole that was uh, freestyling while you were playing drums. Yeah, he started freestyling. And then I think Gee, people know, at the uh, holiday and asked him to leave. Well, when I think of the Big Duff, uh, you know, let me just say, on my experience at the Big Duff, I think anybody that gets so sloppy drunk that they behave badly, uh, that's just there's no excuse for that. There's really, really no excuse for getting so drunk that uh, you destroy a room, uh, sleep till three o'clock the next afternoon, and try to pull a fire drill as people are carrying you back to your room. That's right. Uh, that's uh, that's just disgusting. never okay. Who would do that? Who would do that? Who would do that? Grimy, is there anything else we could do for you? Yeah, I just want to tell Pony to stop being a little pansy, man. I've been smoking since I was uh, thirteen, and just I'm now twelve days without a cigarette. That's 234 cigarettes not smoked. I've saved $74. Pony, quit smoking. Wow. Uh, Pony, I love I got a backup grimy 100%. I think that is uh, absolutely the truest thing I've ever heard, and I think that's wonderful. And, Pony, what say you? That's. Uh, I think that's great advice. Thank you. Hey, hey you grimy, know, grimy, what caused you to <laughs> oh, stop? Oh, he's gone. I'm sorry. I hung oh, up on oh, Grimy. Oh, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, oh, sorry. Excuse thing. me. Excuse me. Pony, um, any chance... Like I'll say in the next six months, do you intellectually, do you ever just sit there and process it and think like, say, when you wake up uh, in the morning and you're, you know, your chest feels heavy or, you know, you got a nasty cold that lingers longer than it should. Do you, uh, you give me the process in your own mind about quitting smoke? Because we all love you and we'd love to see you well, uh, eventually do that. Yeah, well, let's not get <laughs> crazy. I, I absolutely do think about it. And, it, you know, it's one of those things that I think will come gradually yes Oscar mm-hmm. is it gonna take uh, your little marsupial no. miracle to no. develop some sort of no <coughs> when she no. wakes up oh, out it'd of be much cage. higher than that <laughs> <laughs> I mean because he's tiny how does your mom feel about it of course she doesn't like it nobody likes it but it's it's not something that it's it's something that I have to kind of decide on my own and yeah, I'm I getting there. But you know what would be yeah. great? But, you know how a lot of people when they quit smoking they put on weight? What if? Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be exciting? Like, oh my God, he, January 1st, 2018 <laughs> Pony comes in and he weighs like 240. Well, he would be wouldn't regular size. Be, yeah. I think. Exciting. Let's go to <laughs> Kyle from Oklahoma City. Kyle, you're on the Mike O'Mara Show. Good bull big. Hey. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Oscars. Oscars. Oh, hey, Hi, you know how what? are you? I don't like that. You feel sir. violated, don't you? That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a bit much. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Go how ahead. you doing this morning, fellas? We're good. What's up, buddy? We're, we're doing great. Now, why, Rob, why did you mock him? Why did you mock him right now? Because I'm standing up for my friend, Oscar. No, it's because he's jolly and he's doing shtick and that's Rob's thing. <laughs> <laughs> can't be his friend, like, can't be his enemy. Like don't know Rob. how to do it. Yes. What can we do for you, like uh, Kyle? Rob. Uh, hey, Kyle, you know, when you were much. talking during the oh, entire time we much. were talking with each other, uh, I'm going to give you one more chance. How are you and what can we do for you? 
Nothing much this morning, gentlemen. I- Good. Let's move on. Kyle, uh, let's uh, take you're a call right about from him. <laughs> Kim in Vacaville, California. Kim, you're on the Mike O'Mara Show. Good morning, Mike O'Mara Show. Oh. Hi. How are you guys? Hi, Kim. We're doing wonderfully. What can we do for you, Kim? Well, Oscar, I'm not gay, so thanks for the sexy talk. Oh, I was just trying to hit on you. I'm sorry. Well, you thought it was a girl, Kim. It turns <laughs> out it's a boy, Kim. Oh, boy, oh, Kim. Oh, boy, Kim. Well, i just wondering, what is going on with Handmaid's Tale, and why did you mention that? Because I'm all freaked out that I'm still watching it. It is, uh, in my opinion, and I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm now moving on to other television programs, cord-cutting television programs, and I will tell you, Handmaid's Tale, to me, uh, it doesn't get to the level of Breaking Bad, but it is compelling enough, and we were addicted to it enough to binge on it. Did and you finish you it out? On it, yeah, we're done with it. Okay. And the, the fact is uh, they're bringing it back for a second season. They're already, God, there's spoilers like all over uh, about this particular show. I'm trying to avoid them, but the fact is that I thought it was just incredible and compelling, and a lot of people are saying better than the book from that Canadian author that yep. wrote it. And if you're into it, uh, but it is dark. It's not a happy-go-lucky uh, show by any stretch of the imagination, Kim. But I hope you're being entertained by it. I am, and um, I was entertained by yesterday's show so much. And when you played Money for Nothing by Dire Straits, um, my daughters and I play that every time we get in the car. Awesome. And to just start a road trip because it gets everybody rocked up. So I love it. I really Thank you so it. much. It was Thank you. Funny as H yesterday. Thank you, Kim. Thanks so much for the support out in Vacaville, California. Funny we as H. Glad that. he didn't say hell because we're not a uh, shock jock show. Hell. Wide open Wednesday, eight 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 nine two zero six six seven three. Let's go to Greg Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Greg, how are you? I'm great. How are you today? Doing great. What can we do for you? Well, I really don't have anything to offer other than uh, I was sitting on my deck doing some paperwork and uh, got a notification through the app to give you a call. And I've been listening to you guys for years and how much enjoyment you guys bring to me. Really God appreciate that, nice. Thank this you very huge. much. And if you can call like that any single time, there is no rule against that whatsoever. Let's go to Dennis from the great state of Maryland. Hello, Dennis. How are you? It's not the Dennis we know, is it? Yes, it is. Nice. Just just in time for shark season. I've been never stuck. I've been never stuck in nineteen eighty two. I shot bit my hand off. There it is, Dennis Murphy. Uh, oh, God, I love hearing from you. And Dennis, thank you for your generous offer to drive my car from Florida to Maine. I am—I didn't mention that on this show, but since you, oh, yes, Rob, he, uh, he I guess it's not a stick it. shift then. <laughs> he offered to drive the car. I will pay the freight. You don't have to cover me. No, thank you. We're uh, we're leaving tomorrow, and uh, we're doing it ourselves, and uh, that's very, very generous. Let me ask you, Dennis Murphy, what is new in the world of Dennis? We haven't heard from you in a while. Hey, I've I just been working at Social Security, and I'm doing taxes, and and I'm, I'm buying new furniture for my condo. Nice. Oh, fantastic. Life Did you say you're, 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 you're working at the Social Security Department, or you are collecting Social Security? No, I'm I'm in I'm not headquarters in Baltimore. That's so oh, he's at working, HQ, Mike. What, Dennis? As somebody who now I will be turning the five eight tomorrow, and you know you start beginning to think about things like that. Uh, are you worried about the state of Social Security uh, in this current political climate? As of right now, um, we're okay till two thousand thirty three. Two thousand thirty three. Oh, and I'll be print dead it. By then. <laughs> Print it. Take it to the fat man. That's exciting, Dennis. How uh, you know uh, you are you are always listening, and we are so grateful for yeah. that. And how is your love life, Dennis? Uh, I haven't been late since October eleventh, two thousand thirteen. <laughs> two thousand thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. So okay. It, it's happened. Uh, you know. Mm. Are you still in touch with uh, the person? That gave you that great favor, be it man or woman? Oh, no. Uh, she, asked, she said, I love you, and I want to tease your point. I said, uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're a good man, Dennis. No, yes. And, uh, Dennis, don't be a stranger. <laughs> don't be a stranger. Or yet. do be a stranger. It's your call. Hey, Mike. Yes, hey, Mike. yes, Dennis. You... Yeah. Hello? Yes, yes oh, we're there. Oh, we didn't no. hang up Dennis, on you yet. Go ahead. out. Oh, oh. Oh, I'll see you in New Orleans. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm fantastic. Yeah. Dennis, we'll see you in New Orleans, too. Uh, we appreciate I'm fly- that. I'm, I'm flying first class down there. 
First oh, class. That's awesome. Hey, okay. that's good news for everyone else in first class. <laughs> okay. I bet they glad they upgraded. <laughs> thank you. That's Dennis Murphy. I use Miles, Mike. Uh, listener. Uh, let's go to Brandon. Brandon, Portland, Portland, Oregon, or Portland, Maine? Where are you calling from, Brandon? Portland, Maine, Mike. Nice. Portland. Hello there, Brandon. How are you? Oh, hello there, Mike. How are you? I'm just fine, thank you. I must tell you that uh, doing this particular accent, getting them ready to hop in the cab, drive up all the way to uh, the Pine Tree State, I'm uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Pine trees, ocean breezes, all sorts it's of his, stuff. It's Mike's birthday yeah. trip. Yeah, it's my yeah, birthday trip. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah, well... It's my no. birthday trip, too. I live in Des Moines, Iowa now. And oh. Just drove out to Portland to visit some family. Well, you know, I would say somebody from Des Moines, Iowa has the accent pretty well down. That's the way it works <laughs> like that. That's pretty good stuff. Oh, I hope. Uh, how long are you going to spend uh, in Portland, Maine there, Brandon? We're going to be here for seven days. I'm from Portland here. I just live in goddamn Des Moines, Maine now. Oh, Des Moines, Maine, or Des Moines, oh. Iowa? Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines, Iowa. Damn, Des Moines, Des Moines, Iowa. Oh, my God. Damn. That must be just a... That's nothing but a goddamn tragedy. If you're in Des Moines, Iowa, and you're from Portland, Maine, that's terrible. Well, Where's the seafood? Which has the better seafood? <laughs> <laughs> I, I live a quarter mile from this crappy, crappy seafood joint that everybody <laughs> loves in Des Moines. Ah! Total dog food. It's awful. Oh, I, you know what? I hate to do this. I really do. Because you know what? We have a lot of Midwesterners. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> We're on in Iowa. We have Midwesterners that listen to this program, but I will tell you, yeah. uh, you know, there are so many transplants from uh, Michigan and Illinois and Indiana and Iowa that are down here where I live, and Italian food is very popular. Yes. <laughs> but not the kind of Italian food that, you know, it's Italian food that's 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 the traditional Olive Garden kind of Italian food. Uh, so. Restaurant uh, okay. perhaps served in a restaurant that might be considered a hut. Yeah, and you know the the bottom line is up in Maine we kind of we fa we fancy ourselves restaurant snobs. Uh, Portland, Maine, where Brandon is from. Brandon, you back me up on this. I think per capita the most like restaurants uh, of any small city in America. Am I right about that? Yeah, I think of I think second to San Francisco in the entire country. Wow. Pretty amazing. Pretty I had amazing. No idea. Portland, Maine. Brandon, thank you very much for the call. Let's take a couple more, then we have to go to our first break. Andy, we actually have to start the show. Yes, Andy, Reno, Nevada. You are on the Mike O'Mara show. Good bull day. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you guys? Good. Good Doing morning. Great. What can we do for you? Good. I'm I'm so glad to hear the Holy Trinity back together this morning. We're back. <laughs> the Father, the three. Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> which is which? Ah, uh, that's a good call. I'll let you decide. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. I'm the Virgin Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the guy that, that I'm the guy that said no room at the end. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so you're like a you're like a small extra in the in the yeah, play. Yeah, I'm, I'm what I am is a biblical a hole. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank okay. you. All right. Very good. Very good. Nice, nice. Uh, what can we do so, for gentlemen, you, sir? I've been a fan of you guys for a long time. I've listened to you guys through a lot of different uh, times in my life. I was a couple weeks ago. I had a job interview for my dream job, and I was nervous like crazy. So I listened to you guys on the way there. I think it helped and knocked it out of the park. And then I got a job interview or job uh, offer last week, and I accepted. So that's exciting. Good man, Yay! congratulations! You know, in this Woo! economy, that deserves a round of applause. Way to go, Thank Andy! You that's cool. Thank that's you. cool. And a Thank good you. job. So uh, good luck with your job as a croupier. <laughs> <laughs> I just think Reno Nevada, Reno, Nevada, I just constantly think of gambling. I sure. can't help It's myself. a service but, industry. Uh, can you yeah. give us any detail on the uh, type of employment that uh, you found uh, thanks to this show? Yeah, I've uh, worked in the occupational safety and health realm mm. for about six years now, but I got a, a hired as the campus safety manager at the University of Nevada, Reno, here in Reno. That's a big deal. Congratulations. That's awesome. yeah. Congratulations. That's huge. I appreciate that. You heard it here. It's not just ZipRecruiter. It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Gaining people jobs each and every oh, day. Yeah. That's what we do. Uh, listen, people. for everybody that's uh, there, we have to uh, we have to tell you to wait through the commercial. We have to do that. Uh, when we come back, we will take more of your calls. It is Wide Open Wednesday. Our phone number, 888-920-6673, 888-920-MORE. And uh, later in the program, we will get the uh, stories from the road, starring yes. Oscar yes. Santana and uh, getting ready, ready for my big road trip and uh, a little trip. Netflix uh, TV show that we'll recommend, too. Lots coming up. You are listening to The Michael Mara Show. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's the Michael Mara Show. You can listen to the Michael Mara Show at www.michaelmarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's the <laughs> Michael Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. Johnny. 
Oh. Hiya, Ma. That's my best girl. Oh. You got what you had left, Ma. I love him, but someday I'm gonna knock him on his ass. What you cooking, Ma? Beer. With noodles. Great idea. So, Ma, what's new? Well, me arthritis, that's new. And then one of the muscles in me calf is shriveling up. Also, I'm losing sensation in the left side of my face, which I think is the beginning of a neurological disorder. But the rest of me is in the pink. Ma, I don't want you living like this. I don't want you doing other people's laundry. What are you saying? Give up me career. Well, maybe you ought to retire. I couldn't consider retiring. Not so long as I can still give good laundry. Where's Tommy? Don't be talking to me about Tommy. Why not? I'm dropping out of law school so Sally and I can be married, and there's nothing you can do to change my mind. Sally's place is in the home, and I intend to support her, and I'll do anything. Shine boots, drive a hack, blow glass, anything. Johnny, please, talk sense to him. Can't you see you breaking your mother's heart, Tom? Why, Tommy? Why? I can't say it in front of Mom. What can't you say in front of Mom? Nothing, Mom. I know what you can say. You want to get laid. Mom! You want to hump your brains off. Ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. This is Wade Byard, the public information officer for Loudoun County Public Schools. The Mike O'Meara Show has decided to start now. Please make all necessary arrangements to listen. This is the Mike O'Meara Show with Mike O'Meara, Rob Spiewak, and Oscar Santana. And now, without further delay, here's Mike O'Meara. We are live from the Fiverr Studios in our nation's capital. This is the Mike O'Mara Show. The Mike O'Mara Show, a worldwide podcast and radio show with loyal listeners who get it. And if you're here, you are in me. We are on the air, on the Dominion Man and her 24 to 7. On the new TMOS app, update it now. And get our show all day, every day. You can reach us because it is wide open Wednesday. we got a full slate of calls coming up at 888-920-MORE. That's 888-920-6673. The Mike O'Mara Show on now and brought to you by Blue Apron, a staple in the Mike O'Mara yes. Carla O'Mara kitchen. Uh, it is the number one fresh ingredient and recipe delivery service in the country. And you know, in a small way, we feel like we've helped it to become number one. Yes. We truly do, and we're thrilled about that. Their mission is to make incredible home cooking accessible to everyone, and they are doing it. Quite simply, it's the better way to cook. How does Blue Apron do this? How, how, how does it work? They support a more sustainable food system and set the highest standards for ingredients for their community of home chefs. Each meal comes with a recipe card and pre-proportioned ingredients and can be prepared in 40 minutes or less. They come to my door. They drop it off. I actually see them drop it off yes. while I'm doing this show, and I know that I'm going to at least eat well for three meals. I know that for a fact because it's all in the box, and it's fail-safe. That's the guarantee, you like Mike. Some? That's right. Oh, it's fantastic. How about warm smoked trout and asparagus salad with fingerling potatoes and garlic mm. croutons? Does that sound like flavor? Sounds Does, great. As, as my friend Guy Fietti would say, flavor town? You're absolutely right. Or spiced zucchini enchiladas with creamy lime and tomato rice? It is better. It's better that's with then what's in your fridge right now? I guarantee. Blue Aprons, freshness guarantee, promises that every ingredient in your delivery arrives ready to cook or they'll make it right. Check out this week's menu and get three meals free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash TMOS. You will love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home-cooked meals with Blue Apron, so don't wait. That's blueapron.com slash TMOS. Uh, Blue Apron is a better way to cook. Everybody is standing by. Good. I don't like to keep people waiting when they're nice enough to call on Wide Open Wednesday. Uh, okay. I think we've had this bit before. Let's see. Okay. Winston from Georgetown Ooh, is calling oh, okay. right now. Meow. Uh, hello, Winston. Hello. Hello. Uh, this Hi. is Oscar's cat, Winston. How are you, Winston? I am well. How are you, Mike? Gross. I'm fine. Uh, Hi, how Winston. Is the how is the most famous oh. feral cat in Georgetown? Oh, I'm ha just absolutely perfect. <laughs> hey, Winston, you've been pretty hungry as of late. Uh, did your other family leave you? Because you've been showing up at the window multiple times a day now. Oh, well, I do have quite the multiple options for hope. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh. It's just not good. Creepy, anyway, right? Uh, Jason, we were... it's just not, you know, the prepared stuff. Yeah, you yeah. got to get to it right away. Uh, Jason from Kansas. <laughs> I'm sorry, Winston. I think that's a... 
Isn't that the second time I've hung up on Winston? Yeah, calling on cake that. and cookies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an unlisted number, yeah. but I'm sure you can find it. Let's go uh, to Kansas. Uh, Jason, you're on the Mike O'Mara Show. Good morning, gentlemen. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Pleasure to talk uh, to you, just, Jason. I just wanted to say thank you very much, Rob, for bringing back cake and cookies. And that I also wanted to tell you, Mike, that me and my kids are on our way right now to go see the Red Sox Royals game. Oh, oh, that room boy. That's a that's a fun experience out in K. Are you going to I, I haven't even been tracking with them. That's a, that's a nice stadium there, right? Yeah, oh, it's beautiful. They We're have waterfalls in the outfield, Mike. I love the waterfalls in Kansas City. Beautiful, I think that's uh, fantastic. Park. And you know, it's summertime, beginning of summer. Take your kids to a ball game. Is there ball anything game. more? Is Americana Bo Jackson than still with them? George Brett still playing? No, boys, Not stop anymore, it. Anymore, I don't think. Uh, now, how old are your kids, Jason? Uh, they are four and seven. Oh, how cool. Have a great time. Uh, Father fantastic. Oh, that's very good. cool. Well, I will. And, uh, thank you, you probably guys had, very much. Thank you very much. Enjoy and uh, go out there. It's only going to cost him $4,000. He's got a good 10 years before either one of them licks any Mike, pavement. Kansas prices. <laughs> Kansas price. That's right. Probably a little more reasonable. Houston Chris- prices. More reasonable than D.C. You want to really? move there? Yes. Oh, really? Oh, my Chris- God. A drink costs get- $5. It was awesome. Oscar was in Tejas this weekend. Uh, I could let's, make a uh, fortune. To- yeah. Chris in Maryland. Chris, you're on the Mike O'Mara Show. Hey, guys. This is uh, Chris Razor, random listener. Uh, wanted to wish you a happy summer. It's our uh, oh. first day of summer today. Oh, oh nice, that's right. Man. It is the first day of summer. And the yeah. longest day of the year, not counting last month. Really? Yeah. Oh, no it's wonder. weird hey, down I, here. I, I believe it's weird everywhere in the uh, in the country. What part of Maryland are you calling from, Chris? Uh, I live in Cecil County. I'm like five minutes outside of Newark, Delaware. So Cecil County, you know, a lot of rednecks here. So I often say I live in West Newark. But uh, <laughs> right in the tri- tri-state area. Can you find me? A classic Ford Bronco. I've been looking on Auto Trader, and it seems to me that the Del Marva offers a plethora of uh, Ford Broncos. Hey, Some but you want to stay away from the salt air that'll rot out your undercarriage. <laughs> That's what they say. They do. Yes. Yeah, get them a Bronco. That'll be uh, fun. What's uh, yeah. going on this uh, weekend in Cecil County, Maryland? Thanks. Appreciate that. That's oh, great. Did we lose That's, you? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, nothing. I, 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 he went to look okay. for a Bronco. Let's go to uh, <laughs> Bob in the great state of New York. Bob, you're on the Mike O'Mara Show. Hi, Michael. This is Bob. I, the last guy or a couple guys said. ago got a job uh, offering listening to you. Hopefully I won't. I got the alert on my phone, so I stepped out of an engineering meeting to give you a call. So I, hopefully I won't be losing my job. Um, oh, I man. Work at so, a, <laughs> I, work know, I, I, I have to tell you something. The, uh, you know, the idea of being in the middle of like productivity and then having the Michael Mayer show kind of reach out with that, sure. uh, yeah. you know, with that notification and disrupt your work day. I hope you don't get screwed. Ah, screw him. I don't care. There I you go. That's the boy. right yeah. attitude. That's the man. This engineer went rogue. You do what you <laughs> want when you want. Just like Jack. Bob, is there a reason you called? Is there something you need to get off your chest? No, I, I'm a I'm a trifecta for the Michael Mara show. Uh, you've read my letters on the air when I uh, wrote letters about this C that I work with at work, <laughs> and you guys <laughs> called me, and I want a fruitcake when my dog got hit by a car. I remember so I, this guy. Wow. And I almost missed it, so now I'm rounding it out, and I'm calling you guys. Oh, that's so fantastic. I'm looking well, out it. into Canada right now. Boo! Um, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm way up in northern New York, and uh, I wanted to wish Mike a, a safe trip, a Thank happy you. birthday. Thank you. And in all seriousness, I've listened to you guys since Don and Mike when I lived in Rochester, and you've, you've really helped me through some hard times. Um, I go for a walk, and I put your podcast on. When things are tough, and I always end up, you know, taking a mile or two walk and feeling so much better. Oh, that's Just keep awesome. doing what you're doing. This is the best iteration that the show has ever had. You got rid of Buzz, which was the best movie you ever made. <laughs> oh, no, no. Okay, yeah. thank Dead you very much. We appreciate said. that. Stop it. Be- <laughs> boys, boys, behave yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's take one last call on Wide Open But with that last and- comment, he became a quadra listener as opposed to a <laughs> well, trifecta listener. Yes, the, we call it the TMOS Grand Slam. Let's go to uh, Oscar, another Oscar from Austin, Texas. Hello, Hello Oscar. Oscar. Good morning, Mike. I am a listener from Back in the Days in Sacramento on KHTK. And I got to tell you that I'm happy I found uh, this new uh, show of yours on my uh, podcast because I can listen to you anytime I want. That's well, the whole I point, my tell friend. You, we awesome. are extremely grateful for that. <laughs> uh, Oscar, don't listen to them. 
They've been what? making fun of me all this this entire time, and I don't have an accent. So you no. take you take your accent with all the culture and love for this country and this show, and you I live like it. Austin, <laughs> Texas. I like Oscar. Hey, Oscar, how cool is it to uh, is Austin as hip as everybody lets me believe when, with what I read Austin and what I is. watch? Hello. Uh, let's say uh, uh, San Francisco into Texas. Oh, expensive it's, uh, and douchey. <laughs> <laughs> you are so. You know, sometimes your right wing colors show a, through. They really. I, I, oh, are. really? I'm a motorcycle. I'm a motorcycle enthusiast too, and uh, we just had a uh, biker rally two weeks ago. You got to check it out, Mike. It's a lot of fun. Oh man, I would love to go to Austin. Uh, you know what? That's one that's on the list. Believe it or not, great that live would be music, very, great very food, cool. can, really uh, yeah. hip environment. Yeah. Can I briefly clarify? What's right wing about expensive and douchey in San Francisco? That's what it is. Well, that's what people say when they want to be right wing and douchey. Ah, no, San Francisco. Hey, why don't you just move to San Francisco? That has nothing you know, to do with, with politics, Mike. Like, if anything, yeah. I think San Francisco's liberal. Well, San Francisco is, yeah. Right yeah. wing and douchey. But that's is, why you uh, dismissed it. I didn't say right wing. I said expensive and douchey. And douchey. Yeah. But that's not political. You're painting me in a light that doesn't isn't accurate. All right, here's a comment well, about never San Francisco. I not believe that you're not, uh, uh, you don't harbor like down down your soul within. If you peel back the leather le- layers of the onion, even with the voting record and uh, everything yeah. like that, I think that uh, at, at your heart, in, in right at the core, I, I think that uh, you know. Well, look, you're, just you're, just you're because Nixon. the election in Georgia went <laughs> our way Nixon. doesn't mean that. Welcome everybody. Did you hear him say our way? I'm wrong he about said Austin. Our way. He, said, <laughs> he said our way. <laughs> Oscar, keep man. swinging for Oscar. the fences, Dems. Uh, uh, Oscar, Oscar, <laughs> Oscar, handle. Congrats. You know. I always look. I don't care Republican <laughs> or Democrat. When the best looking candidate wins, yeah, that's what. That's I'm all that at. matters, Mike. It's Hi, Karen. The most it's profile. One. Hi, Karen. Solid guilty. profile. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Love the pearl necklace. Anyway, uh, we'll take a break. I wonder who again. gave it to her. <laughs> oh, oh, now stop. Come on. I mean, everyone likes a gift, right? Yes, that's true. That's right. Yes, yes, absolutely. Speaking of that. Uh, we'll talk Birthday to trip. about that when we, when we come back. <laughs> You're listening to the Mike O'Mara Show. It's Tony and Gary. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Tony Perkins. It's I, Gary Stein, and the reason you have us is because Tony is finally not sick anymore. We are back, yes. I feel fine and everything is good. Anything can happen during the show. <laughs> and anything does. On this week's show, Gary gets a new puppy. Like I'm five. Also, Gary is going to call his dry cleaner on this episode. That's got to be exciting. You don't have time to do that when we're not recording? No, not really. <laughs> no. Check it out, TonyPerkinsShow.com. Subscribe uh-huh. on iTunes and download the Tony Perkins Show app. When you get a t-shirt, bring it to the cleaners. The Tony Perkins Show. <laughs> Welcome back to the uh, Mike O'Mara Show brought to you by Omaha Steaks. Even if you missed out on the Omaha Steaks Father's Day special, there is still time to get in on the best grilling deal in the world. The it's not too late to get our limited edition Omaha Steaks package for only forty nine ninety nine. Just go to omahasteaks.com and enter TMOS in the search bar. Omaha Steaks is grilling nirvana, and everything has a 100% unconditional guarantee. We love Omaha Steaks. It is filling my freezer right now. Omaha Steaks giving an amazing limited-time offer to our listeners, 80% off our special package, which includes two filet mignons, two top sirloins, four chicken fried steaks, four boneless pork chops, four all-beef Omaha steak burgers, plus four award-winning gourmet jumbo franks, 12 ounces of all-beef meatballs, a full pound of steakhouse. Fries, fries, four made from scratch caramel apple tartlets, and Omaha Steak seasoning packet, plus four additional burgers free. The highest quality mm-hmm. stuff shipped right to your home. It's the best. I love Omaha Steaks. You're going to love our package. It's amazing. Send it to anyone, even yourself. People have done it in our listening audience, oh, yeah. and you can eat like a king for days for forty nine ninety nine. This amazing package is only forty nine ninety nine when you go to omahasteaks.com, type in TMOS in the search bar, and add it to your cart. Only forty nine ninety nine. Don't wait. This offer ends soon. Omahasteaks.com. Type in TMOS in the search bar and fire up the grill. Oh, Thank God you very much down. for the calls. We appreciate that. Uh, welcome back to the show. Oscar is uh, back from his road trip. Everything went well with your 
your uh, yeah, traveling? Yeah, uh, Houston, and as I mentioned to you, Mike, uh, via text, it's a town we got to get back to. Uh, it is... It's fun. Rega- look, regardless of the heat at this point of uh, this time of year, it's, yeah, it's, you were there in the middle of that heat wave. Yeah, right? the heat wave. It really wasn't as different as a heat wave here. Sure, so, it's uh, hot. I mean, yeah, it's it's, damn hot. But, the but pe- I will tell the- you when you when you're talking about Arizona and you are talking about grounding aircraft, yes. right? Because of the temperature, that is a extre- That is an extremely rare happenstance where you actually have that happen. So. uh I, I just couldn't believe I, it when I heard. I, I you know, also, they're, they're keeping planes on the tarmac right. because they're worried their wheels are going to explode. A couple things. A, um, as far as Arizona is concerned, when we were there, I think it, the highest I ever saw it was one fifteen, right? Right. And that was what two thousand seven. And since that's I've been back, the, that's not get out of the. That's get out of the car and go into the house. With yeah, you them, don't right? buy ice cream. cream because by the time you get to your car, it's melted. It's over, right? Oh, I bet yes. I could eat it in time. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I bet I could. That Houston trip. Um, I think what really over like really overwhelmed me was the the idea that everyone was so i mean the fact that everybody was so nice that I, happens when you get out of dc I'm, i don't think it's just a houston thing it dc was, and new york dc is new york now as far as the uh yeah i've been there been there done it done that got everything had everything done everything been everywhere well you know what dc is, just DC like is new york. worse than new york because in new york on the surface it sounds like they're rude but even yeah, so when they you know tell you getting. even when they tell you to have a nice day in new york it sounds like a threat Right, exactly. And I mean, it's, they're Same actually thing. very nice. It's just the way right. they're sort of well, hardened city well, folk. Wasn't expecting it. it okay. Just, it, it wasn't even, it wasn't the hotel staff. It was everybody. I'm talking about from the Lyft drivers down. Mm. Everyone was super nice. And it, it just made your, like I was there for three days and made the stay so much better. I, when I walk into the CVS, someone actually saying, welcome to CVS. Without yelling at you. Yeah. Like yeah the, uh, the person that says it across the street here, God bless them, they're like attacking you when they say it. Self check out. Self check out. Fairness, Cash only. In, in fairness to DC, I think that, um, you know, D- DC is like any East Coast city. I think it really, you know, yeah. you, you, Do you just think it's don't Southern have hospitality. That. I think it might be Southern hospitality. There's a rhythm in certain cities. Oh, that, man. There's speed, a reason. A that different I, speed that stuff yeah, I moved moves, down yeah. here because it's just more of a chill atmosphere. But. Uh, the thing about South Florida, and, and I don't speak for Miami in that area on the East Coast, but down here, there is a uh, there is an element of danger that exists down here because when you get to, I think California, Florida, mm-hmm. you know the warm weather climates down here, you get an element no matter what. You get the people that have uh, you know have been deposited down here for a variety. It has to of do, weird Mike, re- with being on the reasons. perimeter of the nation. I and think that so. they've gone yeah, as far as they can Florida go deal. without yeah. getting into water, yeah. and then yeah. they have to, you know, reel it back a few feet. Yeah, it's it's just a it's a different world, and I think that uh, there there is something to be said for southern hospitality. Oh, I, yeah. I really do believe. Did you uh, feel? Yeah. Did you notice the fact that it is an extraordinarily spread out town? Spread uh, out, spread out. Know, I mean, it's a huge town because they have the, the land. The last time I was there, it was a land of rent, uh, renting cars and taxis. Right. right? right. Uh-huh. Uh huh. This time, it was all. This on-demand taxi, which is basically Lyft, right? Right. Mm-hmm. And so you had no trouble getting around. You and it have didn't take no you too long. qualms. You forget it. You don't have to park. The traffic, while they said it's, you know, let's say a twenty-minute ride for five miles, which is par for the course around here. You think yeah. it's forty mi- forty minutes? Right. Everything was better to the point I started looking at houses. I said, if, if something ever went sideways, maybe I'd move to Houston. Really, you liked it that yes. much that you actually looked wow. at property? I went there? to some restaurants. It wow. was cheaper to live, cheaper to eat. Went out to well, the you dinner. like it down there because it's very right wing, and I think you do very well there too. The politics it's all, it's are all very politics. Very, very, all very politics. My name is Oscar Nixon, and I'm looking to buy a nice little Rambler in your neighborhood. Mike, I'm uh, landing not, at George Herbert Walker Bush Airport. I mean, come on now. That's yeah. You know Houston how we're airport. obsessed with politics here? Yes. Not one person. Like randomly, bro- as soon as they said Washington D.C., he said anything about politics. Really? They kept mowing on about their day, talking about life and the o- and oil and gas. That's Here's all I heard about. New- this is good news for uh, Republicans. I should say that uh, the more we have nights like last night, the less I get obsessed. Thank you very much. I just like to pass that. I had along. So- okay. I had to have someone explain it to me. I said, what, why, is sixth, this, why, why is this sixth district of Georgia? I said, why is this Georgia mucking up my feed? Mm. I want to hear more about the new Apple Eight iPhone coming out. I will explain. I will explain what it is, is uh, something I posted online last night. I believe that um, that there is a, I don't want to say it's a disinformation campaign, but I think polling 
and pundits that make a living doing it make things out to be what they are not. And this was another example of that last night. I don't think they've got their finger on the pulse of uh, America in a lot of cases. Now, I'm not a fake news person, but I will tell you that polls, you know, I, we're beginning to see routinely polls are not right. They're not valid. And they are Did the they gold standard. Did they say something different than what yeah, happened? They said it, they said it was going to be this uh, nail biter oh. toss up. And mm. I, I told my wife yesterday at uh, noon, I said, uh, Georgia, 6th District, Newt Gingrich, Tom Price. I mean, you're, you're, you're done. Oh, look at that's you. The, that's the, she's going to hold names. this. She's going to, the, the seat will stay in Republican. There's no, no question about that. I don't care how much money they poured in there. That was the, the way it was going to go. After you said that to Carla, did she say, I'm so turned on right now? No, she said, please leave. Please leave <laughs> and stop talking me. about that. I'm going to go not shave my Get legs. Get out of here. Get out of here. I hate you. Take me to the ice rink. Thanks for that. Where our son has hockey practice so I can look at all the studs. God, you know? I'm sitting there and I'm looking, you know, all these guys are walking by like, you know, big They're just penis, Adonis's. Big penis, yeah. yeah. Big penis. And, and they're all walking along what and, you that? know, daddy gets up on his cane. <laughs> and, you know, yeah. like, no, these guys, man, the dad's I swear leaving to God, now. You never know. Uh, what you're seeing there. It could be minor league hockey players. It could be rookies coming from... Russian uh, spies. It could mm. be it, it could be Russian spies. It could be uh, just club hockey guys that are in shape. But everybody... that I remember from that sport. That sport is... This is not like guys playing flag football on a weekend. Mm, These no. guys are in shape. All of them. And you can't tell the difference between the pros and the guys that might just be out there. And then you see the old guys that are like the 50-plus league, and they're in great shape yeah. as well. And then meanwhile, I'm like, hello, you know, help me out of the car. It's uh, you know, it's interesting to watch. So, but you're getting yeah, better. Was, uh, right? yeah, I think, Mike, you're on your road to recovery. Yeah. Well, you road just recovery, had but, hip surgery, for God's sake. But I'm still never going to be that. Go- I'm never going to be those guys. I wasn't. No. Go, I wasn't those guys when I was 25. So it's never going to happen. Gathering speed. You know? We can't right. have. We can't have it all. None of us. Yeah. You know, no, well, Carlos, I would. I would kill for your for your talent. Kill. Carla for it. works me on these young guys when they come in because they're young guys, and Carla is, is a handsome woman. Yeah. And and you know what? And they young. check her out, and I'm like, and she goes. Well, maybe the one in the front. I'm like, shut up, stop it. Okay, yeah. stop. Behave oh, yourself. Like, but you know yeah. that means the devil's, that you're... the devil's in the devil's threesome. Mm. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think Are that you guys really, out? Mike. That yeah, means your all marriage. All I'd be in that is a camera operator. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you would be the tripod. You'd yeah, be holding yeah. up the camera. Well, he has the cane. Yeah. Well, no, trust me. You never saw me getting out of the shower. I would not be the tripod. Thank you very much. Right. That just shows would... your marriage is secure, Mike. Exactly. That's yeah. what that stuffed shows. Mu- I'd be the stuffed mushroom. That's what I would be. Exactly what I mean. That's it. Yeah. Are we going to break? Yes, it's about time. Right. You making those calls now again, or what? Are you doing that again? You getting that habit again? Let's no, not necessarily. Let, let's take a call. He, he doesn't uh, want to do what do you want to do, Rob. Uh, let's go to uh, Rob. I have to remind Rob of that once in a while. Rob I likes forget to who runs the show, the show Mike. Uh, Robert from uh, Oklahoma, O K L A H O M A, Oklahoma. How are you, Robert? What can we do for you? I'm doing good, Mike. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing great. Good, good, good. Yes, and I'm over here in Oklahoma just for some training for uh, for work, and I've been here for a few days. But what, I are you learning, what are you learning to do? What are yeah. you learning to do yeah. in Oklahoma? Tell us everything. Well, I work for the uh, I work for the postal the postal service, Ooh, and yeah. over here they have the uh, they have uh, a lot of the training for bulk mail, and also for uh, technicians. So they have to fly us out from. Uh, wherever they're at or across the country to come in to do training over here. By any chance, now are you also, hiding uh, under a staircase? You sound like you're trying to be secretive. No, no, I'm actually, I just walked outside. Oh, okay. Um, All right. Yeah, it sounds like you're right. My line was going to be, do they have you running <laughs> stairs uh, as part of the training? I was just curious about that. Uh, no, no, I'm just, my voice is a little raspy, that's all. Gotcha. What can we do for you, Robert? Is there anything we can do for you? No, I just wanted to call and say how much I enjoy the show. And, uh, that's really nice of you. I wanted to say hi. Thank you very much, that. and uh, enjoy your training, and uh, no hard feelings for sending my iPad stands up to Maine before I left. I, I, I do not, I do not blame the postal Holding service Holding the whole service at fault, are you? Yeah, don't make, you know, for my charging cables, my extra long 10-foot charging cables sending to Maine, that's okay. Thanks right. a lot. I was the one that forwarded my address, and I accept that reality. Uh, that's, that's no problem. And uh, <laughs> let's take one more call. Uh, we're going to take one more phone call, and then we will break. Rob, I'm sorry to do that, but I just uh, I wanted to Mike, do that. Mike, I'm you know, here to people... support you. That's all we're I want to do. Mike. 
Yeah, let's wait. I'm waiting for... Oh, we lost that one. So guess what? what? We do get to go to break. Okay. That's yes. the way that works. Thank you very much. Uh, we're still taking your calls if you want to call us, but uh, Wide Open Wednesday, Mike O'Mara's show. When we come back, uh, I am getting ready for the big road trip. I've got a television recommendation and uh, the greatest news of the summer for me, and this is no exaggeration. <laughs> I mean, this is going to make for... A pretty good bet that it's going to be a happy summer oh, nice. day when we come back on the Mike O'Mara Show. Was never second best. Here is another of our special offers. The Rob and Joe Show. The first time I saw water, I go, who the fuck is going to buy water? It falls from the sky. Now, <laughs> there is literally a entire case dedicated to like 19 different brands of water, some of which you think are better than others. God, they got us. Download the Rob and Joe Show from the TMOS app. Or from iTunes. And remember, it is temporary and the person isn't in pain. I got a bullet in my head. I never felt better. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Cornerstone First Financial. If you're even thinking about buying a house, listen up. Rates are still low, inventory low, fast approval on your financing gives you the edge you need to get the house you want. Our friends at Cornerstone First Financial will be able to get you through the finance process quickly and easily. They'll do it with great rates right now. Interest rates are fantastic. Cornerstone First Financial will be able to tell you when you're ready to buy, and once you're ready, they'll get you there fast. Not only are the guys at Cornerstone the best at getting you financed, but they're also our neighbors here, yep. and they helped Oscar with his mortgage, and they did a fantastic job. They're good people. How can they not be good people when they've got a Cute little dog named uh, Tiger or whatever tater, that dog is. Tater, tater, tater. Don't, tater. Be a, hater. Don't be a That's tater right. hater. <laughs> Click the uh, banner on our website or call Cornerstone. First Financial, here's their phone number, 202-625-1221. Mention TMOS and receive a free appraisal at closing. That's cornerstonefirst.com slash TMOS or call 202-625-1221. They are licensed in Maryland, D.C., Virginia, and Florida. Cornerstone First Financial, personal attention from application to closing, mm. and we thank you. Okay, I can't keep it in my pants any longer, ladies in and gentlemen. My- Hands. The summer, I've mentioned this before, but I'm so excited. Our babysitter, Carmen, God bless her. She gave me a little uh, iPad pad for the... Uh, An iPad pad uh, trouble. a stylus. Yeah, so so there we go. I'm pressing it there. See, look, hey, that work. Uh, isn't that great? Uh, oh, who's on the phone? No, I can stop that. Hey, a car crash. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Hey, the little rascals kid is here. Oh, my God. Very good. That's, That's the problem like you were like having that. with the iPad? I was using my fine and fingers, and there were a variety. I just didn't have the equipment. The Postal we, Service lost it. What if it. we got you a glove that glove? was textured? And it, uh, and, it would, glove. and it would look like you were a magician glove. while you did the glove. show. <laughs> what are you doing, glove? I never thought glove about that. Glove? Glove. You could actually moisturize your hands while you did the show. Oh, you put lotion like, in the yeah. glove? Yeah, nice. My girl does that. That would be cool. That would be, uh, but anyway, it's uh, very, very exciting because she mm. is not only house sitting for the O'Maras, mm. but she will be for the duration of the summer. Oh. Babysitting the dog. <laughs> Confirmation. <laughs> that is huge. I have one more full day. Looking at Beluga's sour, bug-eyed countenance, and I will be on my way. I have one more day of being awakened at 4.45 to, here, here, let me out of the laundry room so I can shit on your floor. Mike. Here, here, here. Yes. A, we had heard a rumor this was happening before. Yeah. You have confirmed right. now. Now. Yes. Do you want to know what- mentioned it briefly. Do you want to know show. what your- birthday president because a present is because it actually dovetails into this story really well now i'm dying of curiosity yes share share share. you will have to wait till tomorrow because it wouldn't be fair to everybody else with a birthday really yes you got me a birthday present oh yeah i told you not to that was the rule Well, i told you i wasn't robbed with two b's i give (laughs) gifts you know what i'm gonna just go out and get in my car and go (laughs) home Fuck this noise. No. <laughs> no. Because no. I had nothing to do with the birthday policy to begin with at I all. Know. It was I brought know. up in spite of me. And I then know. he goes uh, and turns tails and runs from uh, it. It does, it does not change. I thought it was your deal, Rob. Here's it's something not my you should deal. know. Oh, Rob, sorry. here's Do you want to know, you know how history actually yes, happened? Please. This is what happened. Nobody remembered my birthday. 
I did not bring it up. It was brought up by a caller. You guys said, I don't know why Rob is making such a big deal about his birthday when by definition, I didn't even mention it. And then somebody said, probably in, no. a, in a tight plaid shirt, you, you I don't think mis- we should do birthdays you, anymore because we're not children. Hold we're on, not you children. Are, you are misrepresenting This is yourself. so true. You are, I forgot. You are yeah. No, yeah. He, right what, what he just said Every is true. birthday you have is like a national holiday. Not you put, this we year. We forgot this year. Remember, you Mike, put, we You felt even bad. put a Father's Day picture up of your Birkenstocks, for God's sake. You love celebrating you. Well, Nobody I love celebrating, loves celebrating the Birkenstocks, you. but the birthday, this is, can we isolate the the issue at hand, yeah. Mr. Defense like, Attorney. He's, he's right. I this is exactly him. what happened. I, I was attacked. What happened, for Rob? Not, Tell me what happened. I was attacked for not bringing up my birthday. He was. And then he's I was right. attacked for making too big a he's, deal of a birthday. He's right. And then a, decla- a Bolivian declaration was made <laughs> from atop Mount Santana when he said, no birthday presents will be exchanged I'm the from worst. now and now. My, I, thought, I thought I said that. No. No, I think it was. And then you said, Rob, I feel bad that I forgot. I will send you a present, but that will be the last present exchanged on this show heretofore. And then Oscar agreed. Is that when I sent you the T-shirts? The, no, the T-shirts were for Christmas. I believe the birthday gifts were the Ina Garten book and oh, a okay. gift of a, uh, a party game. Oh, okay. Mike, All right. mm-hmm. uh, you know game. what? Did you not get the thank you note? I'm Corn going, lovers. I'm going, no, I, no, I'm going to tell you now because he's right. I feel like you everybody should know. You know what I would know. settle for for a gift yes. from Rob Spiewak? Yes. I would settle for Rob... Not not necessarily making his wife, forcing his wife to engage in our show, mm-hmm. but trying to be a little less conspicuous that she hates my fucking guts. Oh That's what no I would like. no no! That, no she doesn't and, and, hate and everything you. about TMOS and everything around it, and then you know like oh hi trip hi trip hi trip hi trip, and then and then hi person hi hi Rob Robin Joe listening to Robin yeah. Joe listening to Robin Joe, and meanwhile. You know, the, the, the straw that stirs the here? drink right here. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I would be happy. Mike, I would be, I here's would what be you happy need to know. about that, <laughs> Carrie. And here's what Carrie you need to know. Spiewak. It has nothing to do with you. She hates her really? husband. She hates me. And he's a no, with she, No, she doesn't. Does. I, I can't she make her laugh post anymore. Up about you. I, after 25 look at, look years. Look at him. He's covered in dog hair. You think a woman's taking care of him? No. She, she <laughs> and actually that's I can't my, see it. Is he really covered in dog yes! hair? Yes. That's my hair. Back of his shirt. <laughs> but the thing is, is that like she, gets, lady. she gets enough of me. That she won't listen to the show. She won't listen to Ridiculous. Cake and Cookies. She won't. I don't listen mind to my her not listening show. to the show. I just don't need to see the or other shows. Mike, that, I'll tell the you the show that I'm most jealous of. The Robin Jones. You should show. block her. Let me tell I'm you what so I'm. What I got. Let's and get for, back on the birthday track. Right. Right. Okay. A. All right. Very good. And it's a group present now because clearly I ruined Christmas. So, <laughs> I got you a Nest Cam so you can keep an eye on your home and your dogs and your babysitter while you're away. Oh God! Where where do I put it? Put it behind a teddy bear. They'll never know it's there. <laughs> oh God! I can't do that. I can't do that. Just, or right. grab one of Mike, Michael's less favorite bears, cut a hole in it, and put the cam inside. <laughs> but let, and but, but make Michael belly. watch you do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Oh I think it's only important for God. security's sake, Mike. <laughs> you are too funny. See what's happening. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't care what they do. What are they going to do? Abuse the dogs? I'd pay them to do that. No. <laughs> yeah, they'd you be know. doing you a no, favor. I do would, you I think? Would, by the way, I have to say that we're going to get people that'll send me a letter. I do not advocate. I had Frankie on my chest, and I was looking mm. at him and petting him and saying, "You're such a sweet little dog." Beluga, there is no. How is uh, Mrs. O'Mara handling this? Well, she's probably uh, happy. Mrs. With O'Mara it. was behind it because. Yeah. Mrs. O'Mara has gotten burned on the lack of love from the from the pooches, and she I, you know, gets I more than people, you. You know, Oscar's uh, uh, other partner, Chad Dukes, mm-hmm. who posts about you know losing his dog and the love affair that he had, and and that you know you see these people that love their dogs and family like, members. I, Mike. I, I give anything to yeah. now. Now Beluga's been part of our family for over a decade, and and, and he's yeah. been there, but he's there. Well, I, I wish you like had a, a Linus. Well, I like wish a, you had a Linus. A dependent yeah. Mike. Yeah, small Beluga's dog, dependent. small heart. Yeah, and it's it, it's a small dog, small heart, I small totally break, and small <laughs> chance of surviving the summer. <laughs> Pony, do you have a relationship? <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, dear. Dude, by the way, Pony, congratulations on getting the best reviews out of the uh, Robin Mike uh, Hack DJ show yesterday. Thank you. Pony well got done. the best press, don't you think, Rob? I he think so. He always press. does. You know what's great about Pony are his little under-the-radar comments that you and I don't pick up on, but the yes, listener exactly. always does. He's so yeah. amazing. One Pony liners. got great reviews. One liners. We got one right here. <laughs> Carrie Spiewak writes, didn't get a chance to hear it. Anyway, uh, the, uh, the fact. Hey, by the way, Carla's not listening either. 
Oh, she's done listening? Yeah, maybe. No, she's, she's, she's taking a break. And she takes a break, much like Rob. This is the truth. By the way, I kid about the Carrie thing because I really and don't And by the any way, evidence. we haven't talked. We've actually been supportive of Carla. Yes. Like, usually she stops yes. listening because we were like attacking her. No, she yeah. stops listening when she's down on what? Oh. But then you see, then you can relate because yes. she's just sick of me. She well, doesn't you, you need an also, extra 80 minutes. Yeah, and, and occasionally it's nice to reference the show. Uh, like a few days later, and 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 she'll understand what you're talking about, mm-hmm. and uh, and I I miss that. I miss that from you know what. Shan well. doesn't listen at all because her feelings. She's a, you know one in of a these... way it's a blessing. Well, it's great because her feelings <laughs> were hurt the, for the first I think six months that we dated. I said I told you a long time ago stop listening. Yeah, it's a it, lot we, easier. We're all in the same. Yeah, uh, we have the same cross to bear as mm-hmm. well. I look. All I want them to do is start working more, Mike. I don't care what I know. they do. Just, I, just hey, start, they, my, start that's working the more. <laughs> right. All right, these Absolutely. gums won't flap forever, and we need a plan B. Yes. I doubt Thank that you. very much. Yeah, in, in my case, you know, I want the, uh, you know, I, I don't care what it is. I think, yeah. uh, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I swear to God. I mean, if it's a uh, ten ninety nine would be one nice once a in a 10.99, while. Ten ninety nine, right? Yeah. I mean, for me, you yeah. know, I'm, I'm ten ninety nine. I, that's I look, Carrie's weekly paycheck. I look at the clock. Okay, <laughs> I look at the clock on the wall. I can read the birthdays on that. <laughs> ten ninety nine. I can look at that. So to me, you know, what is my future? Well, to be honest with you, uh, my future is Social Security and a check from the Olive Garden. That's my future. Yeah. That's the way oh, I'm looking oh, at it. Oh, okay, Mark. I'm sorry it's late. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try no, to I, expedite it. Here it is. I, I truly think that Oscar likes to do that. That's what he does. But I was taken aback yesterday when he said, should I send you what I'm sending you in uh you know, should I send that to, to Florida or send that up north? I'm going to install that up north. Oh, I'm really? Gonna. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, because down here, I, when I'm not here, I'm not. I'm always here. We're always here, so that's it. That's oh. what I, I'm not spying on my babysitter because I love her, and she's fantastic. That's she's not spying. Lady. You're just being... Mike, I want to be clear about this. <laughs> okay. Home security, A, takes yes. down your uh, home insurance policy. That's true. A camera right. brings it down significantly. Mr. Liddy used material. to call it, Mike, it's not spying, it's surveillance. The only reason it's I, surveillance. The only reason I Rob ever BMV. even thought it was worth the investment was because of the insurance implications for your home insurance. Okay. If you've got right. some sort of surveillance, whether it be a business or surveillance. your house... Uh, you actually get a credit, which is great. And the magic is, right. is when Oscar does it, his house is so small he can cover the whole house one camera. Well, I got very exciting. One camera, the other one camera is for the cat condo for Winston. That's right. Well, you know, all I know is I watched. Uh, has anybody ever watched Manhunter, the old yes. William Peterson movie? That's like the oh. uh, Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, the, the pre- show. It's sort of it's like a prequel or a precursor oh, to the movie. Yeah, yeah. very very, quick very on scary, that. very very scary. And I <laughs> I thought I heard things last night, and I wish I'd had one of those special cameras. I yeah. want an outdoor camera. All the bad stuff down here. Th- happens out of doors like you can in put it on the where... lanai yes i can yeah right, lanai surveillance I'm gonna put, mm-hmm. I'm gonna put that gator time that's right gator time will be bad gator Thank time you. what time is it? Hey, gator kids. tv hey kids what time is it it's <laughs> gator right. time look it's scale of the gator he's um, back i look i started this whole discussion with the fact that i am going to be dog free for a couple of months, yeah, and God. I am so Mike, your dogs thrilled. are the worst. They've I asked am so and, thrilled. and done number two yes. everywhere. Yes, like they, they have. They have, de- they have destroyed multiple layers of carpet in multiple yes. homes. Yeah, I, I replaced flooring God in the studio. Because the- will they be July. out of your home for the entire summer? They will not be anywhere near Maine. They're it, down I here. Know, but They're I'm living talking about, down here. But will they be living in your Florida home or with Carmen? They'll be living in the Florida house. And, Mike, okay. what also Florida. shocks me is that we're, like, as far as spectrums, Rob loves his dog, oh, right? He's the best. Loves his Do you, dog. Uh, you know, we never talk about it. I mean, you, you reference it, but you have, like, when you get home, you get greeted and stuff oh, like that? When uh, It's funny. I can hear it when Carrie gets home, and Carrie hears it when I get home. The whimpering, the excitement, the uh, there's a special That's noise. true, true love, man. Most dogs are like that. And then he so runs, cool. grabs, yeah. brings me a toy. And then oh, I go see. to my desk yeah. chair. I sit down. He jumps up. I rub his ears. I say, oh, "How so you doing? You have a good That's day." That's a dog. Yes. That's a great thing. Yes. That's a dog. I get barked at, and then I have to step over Beluga because he's waiting for Carla. <laughs> now, what about separation issues on the dog side? Is there a chance? Now, I know Beluga has advanced in age. No, stop it. This is a, look. I have to start Dude, being mindful of the, the fact that route. we're really, we, he is getting older. And he is. And, and Mike, mind. and I'll say this, and Carla, I know you hate me as Carrie hates this show, <laughs> but I must say this, we're all getting older. Yeah. Yes. But 
Beluga is getting older, and there's going right. to be the sands of time. They mm-hmm. march on. They Reaper's fall coming. Yeah. yeah. Now I wouldn't say that, Pony. But Reaper coming. <laughs> Don't fear the Reaper. So, Reaper coming. Three months away from the only family he's ever known. What if the AC goes out? Oh. I've got you know. I like to use the new sounds Anything. that I've loaded into the machine here. Anything's Let me possible. give you. All right. This would be. I'm what gonna play the Beluga. I'm gonna play the Beluga greeting first. I'll play the Rob Linus greeting. Okay. And and then I'll play the Beluga greeting. All right. All right. Would you like to hear them? Yes. All right. Here we go. This first of all is uh, Rob arriving home. This is the Linus greeting. Here it is. Yeah, boy. <laughs> and now this is Mike. This is Mike arriving, and this is the Beluga greeting. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Mike, you know that. Glad you um, like the new offerings. You know, <laughs> so I. Uh, yeah, boy. I'm, That's my dog, Linus. I mentioned on the program <laughs> that. Linus, you want a treat? <laughs> yeah, boy. We'll go for a walk? <laughs> yeah, boy. Take a ride to PetSmart? Yeah, boy. He's a good boy. Very, very good boy. Very good boy. Uh, yes. That my my girl's aunt is her Labradoodle. Yeah. Uh, got away and is now pregnant. And that whore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Give it up to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> we might be getting, uh, depending on uh, the puppies and their health, we might be getting one of those guys. You might be getting a Labradoodle? Well, I mean, oh. it's a mix. Yeah, we'll be half be s- Labradoodle. With a neighborhood half, dog. Half oh, DC rat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> half Labradoodle, half rat. That's it. A rat uh, we'll, <laughs> uh, we'll take a break. <laughs> News you may not need. Standing by. We'll come back with that on the Mike O'Mara Show. <laughs> This is Nameberry reminding you to send in your mail for the mailbag that Rob reads on Thursday on the Mike O'Mara Show. All you have to do is include it. Uh, send it to Rob with two Bs at MikeOMaraShow.com, and then maybe we'll read your message on the radio the podcast. What about the address, Nameberry? <laughs> Shut up, Rob. <laughs> what a dumbass. Welcome back to the uh, Mike O'Mara Show brought to you by I'm playing with it. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back to uh, the show. Hey, musicians, there's still time. November 4th, 2017, at the House of Blues in New Orleans, Louisiana. You could be the opening act for TMOS Live and NOLA. Just send us a note and a video sample of your band's music, and you could be on stage with us. Uh, send it to band at MikeOmeraShow.com. That address again is band at MikeOmeraShow.com. Or click the TMOS Live button on our website. We, uh, you know, we're just generous guys that would love to help you get a little Givers, up Mike, we're givers. Hyper competitive world of live music. It's your first step to superstardom. Uh, and uh, we'd love to be on stage with you. We want to share a stage. It's Ben at MikeOmeraShow.com. And in advance, we thank you. News. <laughs> Legendary actor Daniel Day Lewis has retired from acting. It's kind of an interesting thing. Weird. He's such a superstar. Uh, he's won three Best Actor Oscars for My Left Foot in 1990. There Will Be Blood. Mm. Oh, how great was he in that mm. in 2008. And Lincoln my in 2013. He's yeah, my favorite he Lincoln. Uh, just absolutely incredible. Gangs yeah, in New York. What? Oh, that's right. Gangs in New York. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. got hats. Yeah. Look, his, his movies and his a method of making these movies are prolific, right? Yeah. Scary. Yeah. Oh, he, fr- he sometimes frightens his co-actors uh, uh, because he gets Co-stars, so immersed yeah. in his uh, work. He's amazing. Come on up here, Bill. Let's talk about our differences. <laughs> <laughs> Did he That's walk around as Abe Lincoln for the entire duration of that movie? Yep. Mm-hmm. I remember hearing that. I was going to gangs in New York, though, you know, with the uh, the big guy. Come on, Bill. Bill the Butcher. Yeah, Bill the Butcher. Butcher. Bill the Butcher. Come upstairs. Come up, come up the steps good, right there, and uh, and let's discuss our differences like men. And then I'm going to get a big cleaver right in the back when I turn oh, my back on you. Pretty good. And that's the way that's going to work, Bill. And then Leo DiCaprio is going to fight you. That's fight. right. Yeah. <laughs> Leo, by the way, has he aged? Yeah, he has. He he's has? a little puffy. I think he's got a pretty. I think Leo's got a. Even though you know, obviously he's a movie star and he works out he doesn't for look roles. Like it. But I think he he has a he has a little lifestyle. He parties his ass off. I think, I think. so. And I think in uh, real life, the character he's most like is the Gilbert Grape character. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Uh, all the way back to that one. Uh, anyway, Daniel Day Lewis has more than one movie in the pipeline. It's called. He has one more. Uh, Phantom Thread. It's about the fashion world. It'll hit theaters on Christmas Day. How old is he? He's 60, and uh, he didn't give a reason for his retirement other than uh, it's a private decision. It isn't surprising. He went through uh, semi-retirement 20 years ago, became a woodworker and a cobbler 
which is, I guess, just like getting away from everything. Yeah. In 20, uh, 2002, uh, uh, he dessert. came back, gang, Gangs of New York, but even then he's been uh, very selective with the roles he takes on. That's okay. Yeah. If he pops back in for another role, that would be great. He's only done six movies in the 15 years uh, since 2002, uh, and that includes Phantom Thread. That which, speaks uh, be... well of him to only do six movies and to be that well-known and three yeah, Oscars. Yeah, I think it's cool. That's a record yeah. for a man. It's crazy. For a male, right? Yeah. O.J. Simpson actually has it pretty good in prison. One of his former prison guards told Inside Edition, quote, he's the juice. He's O.J. Simpson. He does his thing. He's treated like a celebrity. He even gets to jump the line at chow time. He also plays poker, umpires, and coaches softball games. Oh, and he's got a flat screen TV in his cell. Uh, what does he like to watch? Keeping up with the Kardashians. <laughs> oh, my God. This so sickens me. creepy. I, this sounds like it might be a ruse, though, when he says he's watching that with a flat screen. Uh, OJ's sister, Shirley Baker, says the guards call him Nordberg, which was his character oh, yeah. from The Naked Gun. <laughs> and uh, she adds, quote, he's in charge of the gym. He's the boss. He makes sure all of the equipment is clean. OJ is serving a 33-year sentence at Lovelock Correctional Facility in Nevada for a burglary, assault, robbery, and kidnapping. He's been there for nine years, but he's got a parole hearing on July 20th. If he's denied, he doesn't get another one until 2022. Wow. OJ turns 70 next month, so this is kind of it for him. He's also uh, retired from acting. That. Yes, he is. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Uh, there was a rumor going around that uh, Gal Gadot uh, got paid. Is it Gadot? Am I pronouncing yeah, I that Wonder Gadot. Woman's name? No, I think it's is Gadot. Is it Gadot? I had a, I had a man of the faith. I thought of, the, D, uh, I thought the, the T was pronounced. I thought a, a man of the faith say it was Gadot. I think it's Gadot, Gadot because it's counterintuitive. I think that's what uh, I. But heard. isn't it, do you know Hebrew? Isn't it Jewish? Isn't it a Jewish last name? I think name? it's French last name. No, she's well, Jewish. She's Israeli. Though. She's Israeli. But Godot would be that? would sound French to me. But I thought oh. when I saw it, I said that looks French. It must be. Did Godot. you have a man of the faith tell you? Yes, I was hanging with rabbis and okay. praying that you never well, came go, back. Go, 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 Mike, go, go. I had I had a man uh, <laughs> of the faith tell me it's Godot. Really? But you know what? Right. Let us know. Tell us on Facebook. Yes. We'd like to know. We yes. really would. It's uh, it's important. Rob to us. says it's uh, French. She only what got paid three hundred thousand dollars for Wonder Woman, while uh, Henry Cavill uh, or Cavill these names. I mean, how about some legendary actors? Okay, you know what I mean. What Spencer, 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 Smith. Spencer Tracy. Spencer. Uh, Fourteen million. The guy got for Superman. She got three hundred thousand. Now the truth is, they both got around three hundred thousand, which is pretty typical for an actor. But apparently, there's going to be a bonus and a big payday for oh, her, good, good. Uh, based on performance bonuses. Who cares? Uh, there, uh, <laughs> here are the results from a new survey by BuzzFeed, where you can I... see if you're brushing your teeth like everyone else. Sixty-five percent of people brush their teeth twice a day. Okay. Anyone? 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 I, I'm, I'm, do. I'm, I think I'm up to three, man. I'm a once a day or usually. I'm scared once. of getting old teeth. Okay. Uh, 28% do it once a day. 6% do it at least three times, Oscar. And mm. 1% of people, ooh, don't brush their teeth. Ah. Uh, 73% use a manual toothbrush. 27% use an electric one. I'm in the 27%. I use both. 51% of people brush their teeth before breakfast in the morning. I'm usually in that mm -hmm. category. 66% use mouthwash at least once in a while. I use it... Uh, all the time, every day. Uh, Thirty-four percent never use it. Is there a uh, stat for people that do use both an electric and a manual? Because I feel that I I use a uh, what do you call it the uh, the vibr the vibrating one that you Sonicare use Sonicare exactly. That is a solid toothbrush. But I do, on but, but after that I, I feel like I want to use. Yes, you do. Hi there. Oral but after that, B. I want to brush my tongue in the top of my mouth and stuff. So I use oh, you, a, you would want to do it with that toothbrush? No, it tickles too much. Ah. So I use do a regular. You giggle? I laugh God. my laugh my ass off. Oh my God! So you soft. are you are a, you are a non waffle cone soft serve ice cream. I swear to God, it, it tickles. tickles too much. Oh if you ever put God. a Sonicare on the back of your no, tongue, no, but I'm gonna try it today. Yeah, it'll be great. Yeah. You'll have a blast. I brush my tongue with my Oral B. I have never used the Sonicare, so I can't speak to that. But it's just like it tickles, you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, fourteen percent. Let me used... rephrase it. I don't yes. feel it gets it clean. I can't okay, wait. All right, fourteen <laughs> percent uh, have used a tongue scraper. Eighty-six percent. I need never a tongue have. scraper. Where do you uh, pick the? I guess Amazon, They're gross. Right? I think it's the foulest thing in the world. I don't world. think I've ever uh, used them. That's probably gross. Fifty-one percent swear that they floss, plus another twenty-two percent lie about flossing. Only twenty-seven percent admit they don't floss. Where is the so grossest what? place you think someone can floss? Their ass. 
<laughs> there Never it mind. is. You got it. You got it. That's the one. Thank you, you Rob Spiewak. Uh, summer job scams. These are scams we have to be aware of in the summertime. In the summertime. Summer jobs were the best when I was younger. Yes. Well, that, that the, I'm just not. I'm not talking about summer job scams. I'm talking about scams in general. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. People list fake jobs on Craigslist or even in the newspaper, but before you can start, they say you have to give them money for things like tools and supplies. And oh, social that's security number. Scam. Uniforms. Uh, Yard work and home improvement scams. There's a common one where someone knocks on your door, says they're doing work for your neighbor, and then they offer to give you the same really low rate if you can pay them in cash today. That is a scam. Beware. That can I remove Manassas. that tree stump? Pay me now. Weekly, someone would knock on my door in yeah. Manassas. It sucked. Looks like uh, you might got termites. That stump. Moving day scams. Be aware of these. About half the pe- people who move this year will do it over the summer. That's why scams are more common. The worst one is when you hire someone on Craigslist and they hold all your stuff hostage until you pay up. Mm. Be aware of that. Ride Probably going to go with a reputable company. And number four, vacation scams. You might see more spam in your email, and if a deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. There are also things called travel clubs where you have to buy a membership before you can access the deals. Apparently, most of those are scams, Time too. Share. Yeah. And it seems to me, Rob, that I, I, I look at Oscar, that I'm looking around, and I just see more and more as we just disintegrate as a society that, that the real energy in American society is trying to separate us from our money. Yep. That's that's really the, that's all it really is. Lifeguard. Nobody's really doing anything. And don't forget it. to tip the girl with blue hair at the Italian ice stand. Yeah. Thank you very much. Lifeguarding very and Italian ice. Mm. And now, a little something, something. Barbie. Barbie. She's gotten thousands of different looks over the years, but Ken has basically always looked the same. That all just changed big time. Big time. Except, uh, you know, down there, he's still, you know, free of Mm. appendage since 1959. The year of my birth. Thank you. Uh, Mattel (laughs) just announced they're doling out a huge variety of new Ken dolls. Uh, There are seven different skin tones, three different body types, nine hairstyles. The body types are regular, slender, and, quote, broad. Basically, that is a dad bod. I'll do that, too, since you gave me a new one. Hold on. Let me see. (laughs) Thank you very much. Nice. It's oh, like, I like that second it's like one. like Bachelor in Paradise. Dad bod. Like, <laughs> Dad, bod. Dad bod. Uh, anyway, uh, that's like <laughs> oh, a slightly broad chair, sure. but it's not all that broad. The hairstyles are getting the most attention, though, mainly because one of them is man bun. Oh, Yay, no. man bun Ken. Ugh. The other one that's pretty unexpected is cornrows, uh, but no one's really talking about that because everyone is focused on the Ken doll man bun with the different Ken body types. I thought types. the man bun was going out of style. Robert has a friend with a man bun. Oh, there's one other. There, there's oh, okay. another body type. Bun. There's also uh, the Pony Boy Ken doll, which is made exclusively out of pipe cleaners. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here all week. Uh, you know we'll what's great about those new Ken dolls, Mike, is they released them yesterday, and already WRC Channel 4 has hired three of them. <laughs> <laughs> to give you the weather. Uh, we'll take a break and uh, come back with uh, the audio vault right yes. here on the Mike O'Mara Show. Cake and cookies. Hey there, this is Katie, and on this week's Cake and Cookies, we discuss our reimagined biopic fantasy of Elvis and Michael Jackson as the odd couple. You know, I'm not even really sure what happened, but we definitely played the Brady Bunch's greatest hit. You can tune in to decide for yourself. It's the Rob and Katie Show. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. If you have a business, a product, or message that you need to let people know about, well, the best place to do it might be right here. You know that the Mike O'Mara Show is like a family. Each and every day, the family gets together to talk about the things that are important to them. One of those things we could discuss is your business. You could get an ad on TMOS, and thousands of like-minded folks could hear it and act on it. You'll reach thousands of friends you didn't even know you had. It's easy to get your message out. Just email us at sales at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Big or small business, you will be treated like family again sales at mikeomarashow.com let us spread the word ladies and gentlemen and without further ado let's open up the audio vault for today wednesday june 21 2017 rob spiewak sure is hot mike hot yeah baby hot especially the southwest hot 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 and the uh you know uh, out around sacramento as well like. Sat down. so when mm-hmm. it's high eyes turn north to alaska and i don't know if you knew this that they just had the yukon 800 riverboat race Oh, and there's some exciting. chilling coverage of the chilling. Yukon 800. This is an Alaskan woman watching it from her backyard when someone falls into the river from their boat. And normally you don't like it when people talk on YouTube videos. Right. But I think you're going to like this lady's coverage, okay? I think this is Charlie Huntington. 
Woo! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get your passenger! Son of a b Damn it! <laughs> Dirty <laughs> b Damn it! You guys are doing good! <laughs> Is that Charlie? <laughs> Oh, dirty son of a! <laughs> Come down later for moose soup. <laughs> yeah, you guys come down here after I got moose soup and everything. A minutes behind us. All right, right. You guys are doing good, <laughs> son of a! <laughs> hey, I got you on video. O M G. Come down for moose soup after! <laughs> now, did you even know that moose soup was a thing? No, isn't that Alaska, though? What a great Alaska Ooh. cut that is. You gotta save that one. I love Come that. down for moose soup later. Hey, Mike, oh, this awesome. is the new catchphrase. Come down for moose soup after! <laughs> after. After, and I then that's that. followed by... Oh, dirty son of a... <laughs> Tommy boy. No. Yeah. Oh, that's I fantastic. do love that. And you know what? I sat on this cut for one day because I know Oscar loves The Bachelorette. Oh, yes. Great episode this week. And, Mike, you would think that they really attract only the creme de la creme the, of the, the brightest, the intelligentsia. Sure. Uh, so what they did this week on The Bachelorette. Come down for moose soup after. <laughs> is they did a spelling bee. A bachelor spelling bee. So these are the contestants trying to spell words that I think sort of apply to the bachelor lifestyle, okay? Got it. Champagne. C-H-A-M-P-A-N-G-E. Boudoir. B-O-U-R-D-E-A-U-X. Boudoir. Facade. P-H-Y-S-D-E. The word is boutonniere. B O U T E N E R E. Physiological. P S. Coitus. Uh, Q U I. Come down for moose soup after. <laughs> Look, I know that an impromptu spelling bee isn't something anybody wants to be involved no, in. No, right? no fun at all. Yeah. But these, I'd have trouble with boutonniere. The the box well, of French. rocks that these guys belong to, yes, right? The rock box. It's just the worst, mm, and it's right. embarrassing on a national level. Yeah, moose. M O O S E. Come down for Moose Soup after. <laughs> All right, keep an eye on Canada and keep an eye on their meteorologists because what okay. they're doing on this television station, there's a guy and his name is Jordan Witzel, and what they're doing is every day they're recommending a healthy outdoor activity to keep the kids busy this summer, and they want the kids to go down to the playground and play on the swing. Hmm. All right. But Jordan doesn't really realize that when he's reading his teleprompter. What? Your participation activity of the day is swinging. <laughs> it was acceptable back when Hal and Joanne were kind of the face of participation. <laughs> so, go to the dollar store and get a fishbowl. Oh, swinging at a playground. Oh, oh God. I wasn't expecting a this fishbowl. Fish <laughs> oh, you put your keys in a bowl. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Unfortunately. Wow. <sighs> So, either way, you get your activity in for the day, I guess. There's that. Well, good cardio. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and after you pull your keys out of the fishbowl, Mike. Come down for moose soup after. <laughs> after. Uh, I, I don't know what high school this is, but he was a valedictorian. He had been uh, class president for four years. And I didn't realize this existed at the high school level. Mm -hmm. He badmouthed the school during his valedictorian speech at graduation. They wow. cut his mic. And the crowd goes crazy. Despite some of the outstanding people in our school, the lack of a real student government, combined with the authoritative attitude that a few teachers, administrators, and board members have, prevents students from truly developing as leaders. <laughs> Hopefully, this will change. Oh. <laughs> Pretty great. Wow. Come down for Moose Soup 
<laughs> anarchy. <laughs> anarchy, baby. That's what we need in America. Anarchy. He should be able to challenge his high school, don't you think? Yeah, that was trending sure. on YouTube yes. but yesterday. He didn't deliver that correctly. That's got to. You got to start off with something soft and about how great things are in history of the school, and then you and slide then into zing that. Him yeah, at the yeah, end. And, yeah. then, at and the then end. run like hell. Yeah. Make sure yeah. you, you got gotta, the piece of paper in your hand. Yeah, you got to bury the lead, and then after you finish that to soften the blow, you might as well invite everybody over for some food. Come down for moose soup after. <laughs> Son of a. Son of a. Oh, dirty. Oh, dirty son of a. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike, a new feature. Let us close with the Mike O'Mara Show medical lawsuit of the week. A oh, Pennsylvania good. man is being awarded $870,000 after doctors removed the wrong testicle. Mm. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Or as, as he's calling it, the ultimate Powerball win. <laughs> That's your magic audio vault. Have a great Wednesday, everybody. <laughs> That's it, people. Thanks for joining us for another episode of TMOS. Don't forget to update our brand new app today and unlock the live 24-7 TMOS stream. All messages for our weekly mailbag can be sent to Rob with two Bs at MikeOmeraShow.com. Our mailing address is TMOS Box 32101, Washington, D.C., 2007. Thanks for listening, and join us again for the best part of your day, the Mike O'Mara Show. Bye-bye, everybody. So long. Ciao, ciao. One last thing. Please remember that MikeOmeraShow.com slash Amazon is the best way to shop for anything and everything. So, shop Amazon and get there through our website. Always open at MikeOmeraShow.com slash Amazon. Now, go in peace. Oh, dirty son of a... Come down for moose soup after... Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. (laughs) 